Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your August How They Feel Next Move in Love Messages Tarot Reading. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Sagittarius looking at how they feel. So this is, no matter your situation, your circumstance, no matter who this is or what's going on, and you want to know <laughs> how they're feeling, what their next moves may be, and what they want to say to you and love messages we're going to find out here. So if you're like, no thank you, then probably not your reading. But let's see what is going on. I just need to um, relight a candle here. So just let me get this lit here. Sorry, guys. All right, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female, general collective reading. Please only take what resonates for you, including the signs mentioned. And you definitely can flip, switch, reverse the energies anytime you feel the need to. Cross watchers as well. Could be a reading for you if it makes sense to do that. So welcome in Sagittarius. I hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. All right. So let's get into it. I'm just going to pick four since uh, I got a little distracted there. All right, so let's see. We have this card here. Beware of what you are projecting for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess is equally so. The qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. Hmm. We have this card. A message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. This could be like a... Um, I was I was kind of feeling twin flamish, but it doesn't have to be. But it could be someone you're in separation with, but you definitely have an energetic connection, telepathic connection, maybe a 5D connection, healing. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. And we have this one. Playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together. And remember, love is the greatest healer. So... Um, what I'm feeling here, Sagittarius, is this person here, they do have feelings for you. They do love you. Um, they may want to try to come back in here and heal a situation. So you may have triggered each other, maybe when you're together at one point, or maybe if you were just friends, whatever the situation may be, whatever this connection was, it could be that maybe there were some triggers going on. But I think it, it's like, I love you, but can we just come together and heal? whatever and let's just have fun let's just see where it goes i'm kind of feeling drawn to pull you one more oh my god secret union <laughs> oops i can't even hold it secret union because i did have a repeating card here from another reading so i just wanted to pull you one more and we do have sacred union honor and treasure a relationship for it's, it's truly sacred wow so there's some sort of sacred energy going on here so there's definitely a heavy uh, soulmate type energy so let's see Sagittarius what is going on everything you need to know Sagittarius is down below pin top comment description box playlist is down there your playlist list of readings I do here though it may change I'm not sure in my other channel so if you want to subscribe over there because this channel mysteriously disappears you'll find me over there all right Sagittarius so let's see how they're feeling about you let's see there's definitely something, something special here. All right, Sagittarius, how are they feeling about Sagittarius? Let's see. Six of Wands. Hmm. King of Wands. That could be you, Sag. Maybe that's a Leo, but it could be Sag. The Empress. Ooh. So they definitely, whether you're male female emperor empress males can be feminine so whatever here it's just energy wow they see success and victory with you they may have like the attention that they got from you um highly attracted chemistry wow knight of pentacles it's been a long time coming ten of pentacles I'm feeling like this person coming in from for something long term here with this Knight of Pentacles. They know maybe it's been a long time coming here for them to come in and make something about this long term. But the birth of new energy here with the Empress, definitely there's something of value or worth here. Wow. So let's see. We have either Leo or that's you, Sag. We got Libra, Taurus, Taurus. All right. Let's see. I'd just like to clarify a little bit with 
at the top here, and then we'll look at the bottom as well. So Ten of Cups, total fulfillment. High Priestess, they're ready to spill the beans. Come forward, laying it all on the line. King of Pentacles. Four Kings would be the, uh, look at that, the King of Cups too. So Four Cups, uh, Four Cups, Four Kings would be the Emperor, and we already have the Empress here. So Stability, Hangman, they've been in limbo here about their feelings and emotions here and about maybe making this substantial and stable. I'm not sure this person might have been married at one time, but here's the sun, happiest card in the deck, more Leo energy, fulfillment, enlightenment, happiness, joy, expansion, everything positive. Page of Wands, so coming in with some good news, information, Page of Pentacles, the Tower. This definitely feels like it's been a long time coming. So we do have the Eight of Swords with the Four of Wands. So somebody could have been stuck in some sort of other kind of commitment. And we do have the Hierophant here as well. So maybe somebody was married, but I mean, it doesn't have to be. But we got the Queen of Pentacles, which is a match to the King, which we had on the top of the deck. Tower, so been a long time coming, stuck energy. Page of Wands, Page of Pentacles. So it may not be like at first, like, okay, let's be in a relationship. Maybe, you know, some flirting, good news, some general talk before something substantial is offered, just to like kind of test the waters, see where it's going to go. So we do have the Aries here with the Tower. All right. So let's see how else they're feeling about you, Sagittarius. They could also see you as very um, practical, wise, smart, uh, with this Page of Pentacles, someone who takes their time, doesn't rush, um, does everything in a very uh, practical way. You definitely work hard to move yourself forward. All right. So let's see um, what else they feel about you for Sagittarius. The Hierophant, someone very dedicated, loyal, honest, true. Seven of Cups, so they're a little confused about something here. Four, well, they're confused if the offer is still there, if the energy is still there, or if the opportunity is still there. Eight of Wands, but they want to communicate and they want to see. I feel like they want to test the waters and see, okay, I'm just going to communicate. I want to test the waters, see if they still have feelings for me. Again, Hierophant, maybe somebody was stuck in something, but again, the Hierophant is definitely morals, traditions, values, standards, growth, expansion, faith, hope, optimism, religion, whatever, uh, growth. Oh, Clary from Source here with the Ace of Swords, Awakening, Epiphany, Aha Moment, Communication, that leads to a new beginning. I'm definitely feeling like you may get like text, message, something, testing the waters, maybe some flirting, some communication to test the waters to see, you know, is is the opportunity still there? That's kind of what I'm feeling. I'm a little nervous though, Nine of Swords, Justice. So somebody may be divorced now, um, but that is truth, clarity, justice, balance, getting what we deserve. Universal law and order, things meant to be. Could be past life, soul contract, star. There's the healing, as we have right here. Faith, hope, optimism, or streams coming true. Divinely guided energy. And they've been thinking about this a lot. Queen of Cups. I definitely feel like that there hasn't been a reveal of love and emotions here on their part. And they know that. Nine of Cups. They want wish fulfillment, happiness, and joy. Single for energy. I mean, Nine of Pentacles is single too, but I feel the Nine of Cups is single too. Four of Pentacles, no more holding back. Coming in quick with the Knight of Swords, rushing in quickly. The Fool. I feel like they're afraid to do something foolish, or they may do something foolish because they couldn't let go of the thought of you. Death reversed. And there's the Sun again, which is uh, Leo energy again. So I think we did see. Did we see this before? Or was it strength? I don't remember. But they want to illuminate their love and emotions for you. We do have the King of Cups here. The sun is the happiest card in the deck. So we have Taurus showing up here. All right. So let's see what their next moves may be. What their next moves may be. They always thought about the love between you or the 
offer may or may not have been made, whether you made an offer, they made an offer, somebody made an offer, or the offer that was never made because of circumstances, but always wondering, you know, is that Ace of Cups still kind of floating around there? So they definitely thought about that a lot. All right, so what do they want to say to you, Sagittarius? What do they want to say to Sagittarius? Eight of Pentacles, I've been working hard on myself. Chariot, but I'm ready to come forward. I could be coming from, they could be coming from a distance. Oh, I'm looking, at, I'm thinking about what they want to say to me. I'm looking at, oh my gosh, their next move. So they've been working on how to make ne their next move towards you. It could be something around work. Maybe you worked with this person at one time. They could be showing up at your work. Maybe they want to rush in and help to work on something with you. Rushing in to maybe work it out as well so manifesting a new beginning here so either they want to rush in to help you to manifest something or they're rushing in to manifest this new beginning with you definitely here five of cups so they definitely it's been some sadness lust regrets here and the high priestess reverse is definitely coming in here so i think they may regret also not telling you how they felt before even if it, if you know nothing could come of it at the time Maybe they thought about it and they didn't, so they could regret not telling you that. But I think the High Priestess Reverse, I think they're really going to reveal feelings here um, as well. Something either about if they know like your routine, they may just show up somewhere where your, you know, like day day to day errands or or something you frequent on weekends or something something about traveling moving or distance so if they know your routine or something they may show up there could be something by water as well or maybe at your work or near your work or something like that seven of pentacles so no more waiting around so they're ready to rush in here to you sag that's uh, temperance right there that's you hangman so this has been in limbo for quite a while Nine of Cups. Somebody's definitely single. They're ready for wish fulfillment here and to make some sort of romantic gesture, I feel, here with the um, Page of Cups. Could also be an apology, a confession of love. Seven of Swords. So no more, no more wearing a mask, nothing like that anymore. Star, healing, wish fulfillment. They're ready, you know, justice, things that are meant to be. Ready to speak their truth here with the Queen of Swords. Definitely be, could be somebody divorced. And they know maybe because the union couldn't happen before that they, it broke your heart with the two of cups in reverse and the three of swords. Again, they could be traveling or coming from a distance, but that's about a new cycle as well. So we have Pisces, Gemini, Virgo, Cancer. All right, let's get a little bit more about their next move. So they're coming in to make moves to finally reveal something, to try to manifest this or help you manifest something or something like that or something at your work Let's see if we get a little more clarity on our next move Sagittarius a little more clarity on our next move here for Sagittarius Seven of Wands in reverse are ready to be open and vulnerable Ten of Swords they could never disconnect from you no matter how hard they tried Ten of Swords reversed Five of Pentacles, so there could be feeling a little lack or loneliness right now in their life. Two of Swords, but they're making a big, big decision. Hermit, so they've definitely single, definitely been in hiding. Um, but they're going to be open and vulnerable. They can dis could not disconnect from you no matter how hard they tried. Five of Pentacles, could be something about money or resources, maybe. Um, maybe helping you to make decisions about something. But the Hermit is definitely here to say somebody is single and they thought long and hard about this. Maybe they saw you struggling with something and they want to help you. That could be it as well. Let's see, we have Virgo. Let's see if we get a little more clarity here. Page of Cups, Apology, Love Offer, Romantic Gesture, Eight of Cups. There definitely has been distance here in Limbo as well with the Hangman. Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment, Happiness, Joy, Single Energy again. Six of Pentacles. So something was not reciprocated before. It's in reverse. And then Seven of Pentacles. No more waiting. Three of Pentacles. Something couldn't grow before. 
Queen of Swords. Somebody could be divorced or, you know, they're ready to come in here with truth, clarity, communication. Four of Wands about maybe, you know, if they were in a situation and now they're divorced, I want to tell you about it. I'm a little nervous here and a little bit of fear with the moon. But I feel like Seven of Pentacles, again, reverse, like no more waiting. It's time. Could be showing up at your home as well. We have the Four of Wands if they know where you live. They can show up maybe at your home. All right. So let's see. Um, two swords here. That could be like two weeks, two days. I mean, it's usually quick. But let's see here. Uh, if we can get more about what they want to say to you. And then we'll get more from that deck as well. Let's see. They want to say to Sagittarius. This person could never ever. Some, some Something so sacred about this connection that they could never ever disconnect from your energy no matter how hard they tried. Eight of Swords, yeah, stuck in their head about you. I can never get you out of my mind, no matter what. Five of Swords, I tried and I tried. And maybe it's affected their personal life where, you know, they're hoping they didn't sabotage this. King of Swords, they're ready to come in to speak with truth, clarity, communication, maybe divorced. Six of Pentacles in reverse. They know that feelings weren't reciprocated in the past and they're ready for an exciting new beginning here. A lot of fire, passion, attraction. They always felt that. I know things were in limbo because I was stuck. But now I'm single, free, and carefree. I can, ready to go whatever I want. And I want the Ten of Cups with you. Page of Wands, I'm ready to communicate, flirt. Good news, as well as the Page of Swords. I've been watching you online, checking up on you, seeing what you're up to. Because I want to come in and test the waters here. I'm ready to speak with truth and clarity. Queen of Wands. So I had to act like I wasn't attracted to you, but I can't hold back anymore. I'm ready to move this forward with the Wheel of Fortune. It's time. The Emperor in reverse. So I was in a bad space before, but I walked away from that with the Eight of Cups reversed. Wow. So this is Sag, Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, Gemini. Interesting. So let's see. Ace of Wands. This could be happening maybe by the end of Leo season. I mean, Ace of Wands is fire. We are in Leo, which is fire. Aces can be a month. Um, doesn't have to be, though. I mean, we did have a... Also, Wheel is 10, which would be a month. I mean, it could be a week, a day, a month. All right. Well, let's see here, Sagittarius. Of course, the universe doesn't know time. So, I mean, that's the energy now because it all could change. So, let's see what else they want to say to you. Sagittarius. What else do they want to say to Sagittarius? What else do they want to say? If this did resonate, you enjoyed this, please do like, share, subscribe, comment, hit the bell. Any support given is truly appreciated, and I thank you. And again, everything you need to know is below. I want to feel that way again. So there is a sense here that when you were connected, even though maybe nothing happened, a sense of feeling happy, um, uh, like maybe butterflies in the belly, all that kind of energy uh, uh, when you first like somebody. So maybe they want to feel that way again with you. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. Yeah, I, I did say that. I mean, Eight of Swords, and I think we have the Four of Swords somewhere here as well. All right, so let's see what else do we have for Sagittarius. I replay our conversations over and over. So whether it was real conversations, emails, text, phone call, whatever, they replay what was said over and over. I'm afraid to contact you. I, yeah, I felt that as well. But I feel like they're going to do it anyway. I'm not available. So they were not available at the time that this connection happened. Let's see what's on the bottom. I want you. Mm, okay. And we will be together again. So, yeah, they're going to come forward. They will, because they want to tell you how they feel. Yeah, because the timing just wasn't right for you, for the two of you. They are attracted to you. There's no doubt about that. All right. So that's what I have for you, Sagittarius. So I hope that helped that resonate. Again, everything you need to know is down below. Please go to the community tab. I have some polls over there. I'm thinking of s trying to do some different and new content, but, you know, so please go vote over there. But anyway, I am wishing you the best, Sagittarius, and I shall see you next time.